geometric object that Einstein spoke about as a block. Remember the tetrahedron, the building block that fixes the reality I told you about? Now imagine the entire universe, everything, everything, in one frozen moment in time. Like a single frame in a movie. In this one frame, all of reality everywhere appears frozen in this one position. Let me give you an analogy. In a movie shot a 35 millimeter film, there are 24 frames a second. There's no actual movement in a movie. There's just a sequence of frozen frames. Now remember how I told you about the Planck length of space, which is the smallest length possible? Well, there's also a Planck length of time, and it is much shorter than 24 frames a second. In fact, it's 10 to the 44 times shorter than that. Okay, so not for a frozen frame of reality. The entire universe in one frozen moment, one frame. But instead of a frame in a movie, it's a frame in all of reality. Now, imagine the next one. Each frame is different from the previous one. Just like in a movie. See how all frames exist in Einstein's space time all at once? Okay, and here's where things get really weird. Really we assume that the past includes the future. That's how we appear to experience reality. But when you look at this block, why would one side be the past and one side be the future? Why go left to right and not right to left? Why can't the future influence the past? I take away the names past and future if that helps you think of this concept. So what if the past influences the future and the future influences the past? In an endless feedback, in fact, consciousness is so then, and consciousness is the which part of the past, and fact, consciousness is seeing which part of the future, and vice versa. And the answer is, all time is affecting all time. Consciousness is all the Constructs within the formalism of quantum mechanics, and just serves. 
a model entity whose states correspond to a recognizable caricature of conscious awareness. Entity. So consciousness is... So, for the contract is basically talking about an entity, not necessarily a human being or as one, is that it's capable of generating information affected by observing and measuring all the time. What would that consciousness be? Well, we definitely know that consciousness exists in the universe. Is it at least a seal of strength? Is it that the unconscious is conscious? No conscious. Is conscious. Thank <laughs> you. 
Geometric language. 